Good evening, everybody. Good evening. Good evening, everybody. Let's start. Good evening. Okay, how was your vacation? ¿Qué tal de vacaciones? Good. Excellent. Fueron, Very fueron, good fueron al mar. No. Yes. Eh, y ahí por donde viven va que no está cerca el mar. No, yo no. Okay. A una hora. hora. <coughs> tipo una hora. Cinco horas. Cinco horas. Yes.
de aquí donde yo vivo está como a, bueno depende si es el a, como eh, al puerto de la libertad está como hora y media si sí, hasta son sonate sería como dos horas y media y hasta el como el cupo que es allá por San Miguel serían tres horas creo. ahí depende Okay, everybody, let's start. Yo creo que todavía se están uniendo unos cuantos. Pero... Good evening, good evening. Good evening, everybody. Okay, today is... The date in the middle of the course, okay, the tenth section. It is section number 10. So today we have the midterm, we have the exam. Okay, the exam you have to do it tonight. Okay, the name of the well, the topic is simple present practice daily routines. Okay, is the practice of the simple present in the daily routines. Okay, simple present practice, as I told you. And the name is the, of the unit the daily routines is the name of the unit number two that we finished today. Okay, the unit number two. And the objective is identify simple present. Okay, when you talk about simple present. Today we have a class that is very participative and you have a lot of practice to do. Okay, that is why it's called practice. <laughs> Okay, so let us make a review of the tenses. Uh, we have simple present, okay, affirmative statements. Okay, you say, for example, I make a phone call, may I make phone calls, you make phone calls, we make phone calls, they make phone calls, Sylvia and Candy make phone calls. And also you say she makes phone calls he makes phone calls it makes phone calls my friend makes phone calls and oscar makes phone calls okay with the first second first person in plural third person in plural third person in plural you use the verb make no change right and when you use the third person singular, she, he, and it, or another noun that uh, is involved that is the third person singular, like a my friend and a name or person, you use the verb with the S in this case, you say makes phone calls. Okay, affirmative, subject, verb, complement, subject, verb, complement. Okay, negative statements, negative statements. Okay, here, how you make the negative statements, you say, I don't make phone calls. You don't make phone calls. We don't make phone calls. They don't make phone calls. Sylvia and Candy don't make phone calls. She doesn't make phone calls. He doesn't make phone calls. It doesn't make phone calls. My friend doesn't make phone calls. My friend doesn't make phone calls. And Oscar doesn't make phone calls. Okay, here in the negative, you use the auxiliary don't. Okay, don't. And with the first person, second person, singular and plural, First person in plural, and second person in plural, second person in uh, third person in plural, third person in plural, third person in plural. 
Okay, you use don't as an auxiliary. And with the third person, okay, she, he, it, or in this case, my friend or Oscar, you use doesn't as an auxiliary. And you see in both cases, you use the verb, the base form, the base form, okay, make, make. Because uh, no change in the verb in the third person because you have the auxiliary doesn't, doesn't, okay, doesn't make, doesn't make phone calls. Okay, besides, uh, we, when we started the simple present, we study the rules, how to make the verbs, how to convert the third person singular form of the verbs. And we have four rules. Rule number one, add S to the base form of the most verbs like uh, make, send, help, talk. You add the S and then you say makes, sends, helps, talks. Rule number two, R E S to the verse that end in S C H S H X or Z. Okay, the verb finish with those letters like a branch, watch, dress, fix. You R E S. Okay, you say brushes, watches, dresses, fixes. Okay, and the rule number three. Change Y to I in R-E-S. Okay, for example, in the verb cry, finish with Y, Y, and then you say cry, cries, try, tries. And if preceded by a vowel, do not change the Y. Like, a, for example, play is place, enjoy, enjoys. What is the difference? With this, cry and play. Okay, the difference is in cry, uh, you, this is the Y, the vowel, right? And this is the consonant. In this case, is Y, and in this case, is J, right? If it is J, no change, okay? Don't only add S. If it is Y, change the Y for the I and add ES. Okay, rule number four. The rule number four are the exceptions. Okay, you have do, does, go, goes, have, has, be, is. Okay, the rules for pronunciation. Okay, I added this because I consider that it's important. Rule for the correct pronunciation of the S ending, the sounds S, Z, or is, plural nouns and third person singular. Okay, the same rules are for the plurals and for the third person singular form of the verbs. Okay, what is rule number one? If a verb is if a word ends with the sounds, okay, s, z, z, sh, t, or d, okay, the final s is pronounced like a s. And rule number two, if a word ends with any other voiceless. Consonant sound like a P, T, K, F, or t, like a thank you. Hear the sound of thank you. The final S is pronounced like a S. Okay, rule number three. If a word ends with any other voice, consonant sound like a B, D, G, B, D, L, I, R, R, 